Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm going to show you a bunch of new Creative Craft Products tools that I have been sent. I've already been using some of them. If you've been watching my Facebook Lives, you might have seen them in a couple of videos, but I have been um, using some of them there. But there's some fantastic new tools. So whether you're looking to replace some things you might have, or maybe you're just starting out with paper crafting and you're looking for some new tools, check out the Creative Craft Products brands. They've already got a lot of already that um, have been available, but they've just recently added all of these. So everything's available on the website, which will be linked below. And um, I've got empty boxes here because I just want to remind myself to share everything. So in no particular order, what I'll do is start with the largest one here. So we'll get this out first. And I'm kind of glad I'm able to do the video and get this out now because I can um, get rid of all the packaging. <laughs> so I kind of need to keep it to show. So this is how it comes. You're seeing me open this just as you will. And... Ooh. so this here is your glass media mat so it's 10.25 times 15.75 and it includes a glass media mat um with imperial metric measuring grid and you've got a mixing palette area as well so this has got a film on it which is really satisfying and i'm going to peel that off with you now so just get the corner there is something so satisfying about doing this okay so i'll hold it up so you can see it a little bit better there so you've got yeah this nice area here so if you like to make up your templates do your cutting like i said you've got your imperial runs above and then the metrics along the bottom there and then you've got that separate space. So if you, yeah, if you do more of your mixed media and stuff, then you've got all that there. It's easy to store away. It's very thin. Aesthetically, again, it's, you know, it's a simple plain colour. So it's going to fit within most craft spaces, I think. But if you are limited on space, then things like this are quite handy. You know, you can just slide that down the side of your unit or something. So, yeah, it's really nice. It's really nicely made. Very smooth. The glass is, yeah, it's... It's, uh, yeah, it's really nice. So that is your glass media mat. Next, let's look at this one here. So this is your rotating stamp, pl stamp platform. Now, this one has already had a lot of people saying that they like this and this is what they would like to purchase because if you're a VIP, you've got to see all this before it went on um, sale on the website. Um, VIPs get 10% off. So um, all of that's always linked below my video if you want to find out more. Again, this is how you will receive it. So if you've got the stamping platform, which is this one here, you'll see everything's going to match nicely. So it's got that same spring so that you can position your stamp before committing to actually stamping onto the paper. And you've got your same magnets there, which is quite handy because actually... I often need an extra one in there and I've lost that one. So although you can buy replacements. So you have, so this is your rotating, let's show you the box again. This is your rotating stamp platform. So it inclu includes one stamp platform, a stamp with the stamp area and then two magnets. Now with this, it's just going to be really good for precision when you want, if you're wanting to stamp multiple images. So um, wreath designs as they're showing you there on the, the box. This would be really handy for my turn and reveal uh, die set. So this here is magnetic. So this comes off. It's a really strong magnet, actually. I thought it wasn't going to come off there. So basically, you will pop your paper down. Let's just take an envelope there. So imagine this is your paper. That snaps into place. You line everything up with your guide, whatever it is. And then you move this. And it kind of, it's hard to explain, but it, it kind of locks in each, each time you move it. So you're going to get that perfect, that precision when you stamp until you go all the way around to the beginning again. You can get a piece, um, a 12 by 12, probably a little bit bigger as well in here. You've got markers down the side, which if you get a little bit of um, black ink and just or paint and just run it down there, you'll be able to see those marks. In fact, let me show you. I'm actually going to use a paste to fill the grooves. It's just to show you how you can make them stand out a bit better. But I thought I could also demonstrate these silicone brushes. So you get a set of six. Perfect. 
for evenly spreading paints, pastes and other thicker mediums. So this is going to be perfect. So you've got, I think they're all the same size. Yeah, it doesn't say, I can't see that they change size. So I wasn't planning to do this, but if you just, this is just if you want these to show up, these, um, the measurements on the side here, that side, just pushing it into the grooves there. Like so, and then these are nice to use, nice and soft. Just get rid of the excess, like so, and then I'll just get some paper towel just to wipe that off. So I just clean that all off. I just use some rubbing alcohol to clean off the excess, but at least now you can see them all. Probably could have added a bit more paste at the top there or pushed it in a bit better. But you can see how well you can now see the uh, measurements. Actually, on here, these are the same. These are um, these aren't this colour. This is just build up of ink really that's stained in there. But I could just put the paste in there just to, you know, help see them better. But yeah, it's a little tip there if you've ever got anything, you know, scoreboards, things like that. Um, if the um, if the numbers are embossed into the tool, then you can just um, yeah add some uh, paste or paint or something. But um, yeah, I think this is a really lovely tool. Again, it's nicely made, feels really good quality. You've got a foam pad, the same as the stamping platform. It's exactly the same underneath. And this feels like a very, very, yeah, you can hear it. It <laughs> snaps in, probably pinch your skin actually, so be careful. So yeah, that's the rotating stamp platform. Then I've got the, um, I'll keep that out actually as well, because it is obviously part of the tools, the lamp, which I'm using. So I'm just going to bring this one in because I've got it plugged in. So this is the new, it's this one here. So this is your LED USB craft lamp in white. I think there's other colours because they've got a black pit one there in the user manual. So whether we've got that in stock, whether it's just the white one, I'm not sure. So this is the box that it comes in. But the nice thing about this, and I shared it, I, like I said, I have been using this. I turn it on every morning. This is, um, it's a really good one for travel. So I just take it off there. So you can see how thin that, you know, it um, folds down to. It works off a USB. So you just plug that in behind it. And then you've got, so I've just moved this bit just slightly out of frame there. But um, so to turn it on and off, you just hold down on the, well, actually that's turning it, that's making it brighter. So that's off, turn it on, one tap, and then you can do five taps and that will increase the brightness. So two, three, four, five. And you actually can see the kind of five um, tracks of the light, I guess the bulbs, the strips, um, you can see them getting bigger. And then when you get to the last one, it goes off. But you can also set it on a timer. So I'll just get that bright again. Um, and this changes the colour. So that has now made it um, warm. So it's a warm, you can probably see the difference there actually. And then that increases, there's another one again. And then back, so you've got three settings, I believe. I haven't actually looked at the, <laughs> the manual. Is anybody else like that? I'm a Capricorn. I don't do manuals. I just um, just guess. 5 watt power, all this information is on the website anyway. So yeah, have a little look, but it's really handy. So again, if you like to travel, or maybe you've got a small craft space or you've got a craft space that's maybe like the dining room table, so you have to pack things away. This is a really nice light, especially to have that daylight. Um, yeah, so again, that's off. One, two, three, four, five. It just gives you that extra, yeah, bit of daylight. And like I said, you've got the time in there as well. So nice lamp addition there I'm just going to pop that open then um so the other thing that I've been sharing which I love and that is the new guillotine so this is an 8.5 inch and you've got your metric and imperial measurements again there was a film on this but I've already taken it off you've got a little safety lock here so it clips in on the side you just take that out and then it sits on the top and then you've got that to work you don't need to replace the blades on this it's self-sharpening every time you cut it it will just you know sharpen itself always with a guillotine you just want to slightly push into the the surface area here and um, that will obviously just ensure that you get a nice cut as well you've got your safety strip here so you pop your paper cardstock underneath there and you 
push down with that so your fingers are far enough away and there's a guard up here as well so if your fingers did slip they're not going to go um, underneath there as well really nice not too heavy um, again yeah it's nice everything is uh, is matching obviously I've gone through the uh, silicon brushes or little spatulas really I would say pop that one to that side move them out of the way then we've got another this is a rotating cutting mat. Now, this is something I think I would use because when I do, um, for me, when I make my prototypes for my collection, I do a lot of cutting with a knife and a, um, you know, cutting knife. And I'm always moving things around. So I think I will probably use this a lot for that. Um, but yeah, if you like to um, fussy cut with a cutting knife, then this is going to be handy for that. I think this can come out. Yeah, so you can, you've got, so if that all gets worn out, which craft mats do, it's a self-healing mat, then you've got the um, the flip side there. So it's a, a Lazy Susan style. This would be handy on my desk as well, just to, for example, I've got all my adhesive tapes on here. I can also use use it to help turn this around i've also got my um which is a lazy susan i'm just looking i've got my little jars of embellishments and all my distressed oxides and stuff but you could also i think it's quite handy to have it on your desk you could put your dye machine on it as well <laughs> it's an idea it's nice to get a few more uses from it but um yeah again really nice everything's matching it's that same color tone throughout so it's going to be something hopefully for everyone we've all got different needs we all do slightly different paper crafts then there's these. So I haven't used these ones yet. And these are your flat top blending brushes. You get a set of four. They're in white. You could quite easily mark the tops. You could cut a little coloured disc out if you want to keep them for certain colour families. But these are to, to cover a bigger area. Um, just the same as your blending brushes. It's that really soft bristle. And then the nice thing about this, you've got the little holster to keep them in. So they're very cute. So they are going to be handy for if you're just doing one large area. Again, you can clean these, just rinse them under the tap and always let them dry facing down so all the water can run out. But yeah, really nice little addition there. Some cute little blending brushes. To go with that, you've got your brush cleaning pad. So if you have got the, the other blending brushes, Creative Craft Products have the, you know, the... I guess common blending brushes now that most uh, card makers have. If you do like to clean your brushes, then this mat's quite handy. So it says there brush cleaning pad, and I think, yeah, it's suction. So you can pop that, actually, that's really handy. You could attach that to the side of the sink. And then as the water's running, just rush, you know, brush them over. So if you've only got a, a few blending brushes, you use multiple colours with them, then the, this is going to be really handy. I've got a blending brush for every colour ink pad that I've got so it's not something I would go to all the time however saying that I have contaminated them on occasion and sometimes you can get quite a lot of build up so I think occasionally it's quite good to maybe clean them just to maintain them really but yeah handy little tool and you could use it for your makeup brushes as well um, and then I've got another mat so this one here is your all-in-one magnetic mat now I know that there are more things to go with this in the near future so I mean the hints kind of in the picture I guess <laughs> so this one so you've got a stencil mat so it's your stencil mat with a magnetic base soft ruler and two magnets now you don't get two rulers this ruler I popped in here so I didn't lose it so you can buy this magnetic ruler on its own um, I'll just get this one up here So this one you can buy separate. So you might already have a magnetic mat and you want a ruler that you can move around. So this one comes with it, which is the same. As you can see there, that's a magnet. And then you've got these two very strong magnets. So again, if you're doing some work on the go and you don't want it to shift, maybe you are, again, taking your crafting. Maybe you're doing your crafting when you sat down on the sofa. This is a nice, solid, strong surface. So it's like a little table as well. But you've got these two holes here, which will make sense for something that's coming soon. And then you've got all your grids there. There's only metric running all along the sides here. 
but I don't, I'm not sure if I would use, me personally, I don't think I'd need to use this for the measurements anyway, but I guess you've got the ruler, which has them both. So, so yeah, again, it's finding a tool that you think, actually, that is really what I'm after. That's what I need for my style of card making or paper crafts. So I'm going to have these all at hand and, uh, you know, use them as and when. So yeah, a ton of new tools there. So like I said, Creative Craft Products has a big range now of tools you've got your blending brushes over there so check the, all the other ones out you've got your stencil brushes which they did send me another pack i might end up using this in one of my giveaways so if you watch any of my facebook lives if you're over on facebook join the mixed up crafters on my mixed up craft page i do facebook lives two every week and i do a giveaway at the end of each one and pick a winner so i will pop this into that prize pot so yeah, I think these are really lovely products. They're really good quality. I think the price points are really good as well. Check out the reviews as well. Lots of people leave reviews next to our products so you can get some ideas there. I know some of you have got these as well from other companies as well and you've said that you've loved them. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Is there anything here that you're, you know, you're wanting to get? Like I said, if you're starting out, definitely your stamping platform. That's a must have. But you could also kind of use this this is a stamping platform. It's a rotating one, but it's still a stamping platform. So if you want to get a two in one, again, if you're just starting out, I would go for this over this because, you know, you've got your plate there. So you can stamp your stamp on, lay your piece of card down and then position it quite easily. You've got all your markers there to line it up and the magnets. So, yeah, I'm super pleased with all these. So let me know what you think. Like I said, in the comments below, I will have all the lamp as well. I'll have all of the um, I just realised. I've got this one over here as well. This wasn't another one today. I've had this for a while. This is um, to help apply an even pressure over your stamping platforms. So it just glides over the top there with the, the felt and you've got, you can replace these as well. There's, um, you can buy packs of the replacements. So that's another little thing. Like I said, there is tons on there. I do have all of the new tools apart from, it's not really a tool, but it's a colouring medium and that's the new alcohol markers that are also being launched so i'm hoping they will send me those so i can give them a try because i do like to use my alcohol markers so yeah thought i'd share all this on a saturday so you can go and have a little mooch on the website and uh, yeah i'll have everything linked individually but if you click just here you will be taken straight to the creative craft products tool so you can check them all out there subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so that way you'll get to see these getting used in my day-to-day -day crafting and all of my other things that i share and popping up now will be a fun tutorial that you might want to go and watch next. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.